Colin from KC Tool here with episode one of Q&A with Colin. If you've watched some of our videos in the past, you know on some of them at the end I say we're always looking for things to put on the show or questions, and so in this, our first episode of Q&A, we're going to actually answer some of those questions. So the first question is, I would like to see a comparison between the Wera Rap Adapter Universal Bit Holder and the Weha Pro Turn Quick Release Bit Holder. I have those two bit holders right here in front of me. In the long run, they're really, really similar. Both have locking mechanisms that lock the bit in. They both have a magnet inside. They both come in various lengths. The main difference between them is that the wrap adapter has a slightly smaller and slimmer locking mechanism. And on the wrap adapter, you push towards the bit to release the bit. And on the Weha Pro Turn, you pull away from the bit to release it. Our next question is, I'd like to see a video covering impact rated bit holders. As we know, impact drivers have a hammering action inside that adds a ton of torque. What impact bits and bit holders do is add torsion zones to accommodate for that and allow it to flex and twist under the pressure of the rotation. What you're doing when you add an impact bit holder to an impact driver is one, making it quicker and easier to change bits out, but two, with the added absorption zones, especially of this Philo, which has three, and then adding another absorption zone in the bit itself, you are maximizing the life of the bit you're using. Our last question is, I'd love to see you chat about the staff picks a bit, such as why they were put together the way they were. We've all seen them when we go into music stores or bookstores, there's staff picks, there's, there's Larry's pick, there's Richard's pick, and we kind of thought, well, wouldn't it be fun if we did that too? What was fun was that we were all given the task of choosing if we had six screwdrivers, what would they be? And when we came back to the table with all of our ideas, we thought we'd have a lot of overlap and we didn't. We had people who had all insulated screwdrivers. We had people who had all Wera, all Weha. We all had different opinions of what we wanted in that set. You should also know that at KC Tool we are extremely competitive internally. So this was a great opportunity for us to fight against each other to see whose set sold the most. And my wonderful budget-friendly screwdriver set did not win. I would love to answer more of your questions, so comment below with anything you'd like me to talk about. We add content every week, so subscribe to the KC Tool YouTube channel. And while you're down there, like this video. We'll see you next time.